That would explain perhaps why the Islamic State is making its presence felt in Sri Lanka. The threat is far from over in that country. Security officials continue to chase suspects that are on the run. But normal life is uh, slowly coming back on track. Ban on social media websites was lifted today. We spoke to our associate editor Palki Sharma Padhe for more earlier this evening. Uh, this ban came into place right after the attacks because there was a fear that fake news might spread. Sri Lankans fear the spread of, of sectarian violence, of violence along uh, ethnic and religious lines. They've seen some of the worst kinds of, uh, of, of uh, clashes in the past and they wanted to avoid that. Social media is something that uh, has been instrumental in the spread of such messages. They fear that the bombers were indoctrinated. Uh, by ISIS videos, so that is something that the government wanted to avoid and that is something that also came in for a lot of debate, not just here but internationally. Uh, it is a double-edged sword, uh, the, 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 the impact of social media. While it helps in spreading information and making people aware, it also helps in spreading disinformation. So the government has been dealing with this and finally I believe that uh, they've, they've realized that uh, it's all right now for these bans to be lifted on Facebook, WhatsApp and other apps intermittently. Uh, these, uh, these applications were working here, but by and large there was a clamp down. The curfew has been lifted, it was lifted yesterday. So slowly as you can see, this is Tuesday afternoon, it's a rainy Tuesday afternoon here in, in Colombo in the capital of Sri Lanka and you can see a lot of traffic. For the first time in three days I see so many vehicles out uh, on the roads. Uh, there were traffic jams earlier this morning, so that is uh, uh, fortunately or unfortunately a uh, an indicator of normalcy slowly but surely returning to this country. But you see a lot of policemen, a lot of armed guards still dotting uh, the expanse of this city. So yes, things are getting back on track, but Sri Lankans are not taking any chances.